never get yourself in a position where you become the reason for the pain of others it is not noble it is not noble that a preacher is crying courtesy you and you sleep sound and wake up that an individual is going down you close the business door because of mismanagement of this spirit this cancer and it's amazing how many people will go behind and stab you then call other people and say you are bleeding said this man is bleeding I mean who would be so wicked to cause this man to bleed and then they see the evidence of the blood on your own hands walking in love welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence the Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of God's life walk in love walk in love Colossians chapter 3 walk in love Colossians 3 14 and 15 above all these read the first four words please one two go One more time. And above your praying, above your fasting, above your contending for growth, above all this, it says, put on love. KJV says charity. But the word there is love. And the Bible calls it the bond of perfection. It brings perfection to everything you have. Put on love. Put on love. Put on love. When it has to do with love, the only way you get it is by asking the Holy Spirit to pour it in you. The love of God was shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So when you find yourself walking in hate, bitterness envy you go to God in the place of prayer father your love is not richly established in my life take away the spirit of hate let me be able to celebrate the victory let me celebrate your hand upon others and be comfortable with it you see love did you know that's the meaning of my name what a good name Selman means the way to love. Way to love. You never see me fight anybody's ministry. Fight anybody's. If I have a problem with you, I pray for you from a distance and wish you well. You see that? Never get yourself in a position where you become the reason for the pain of others it is not noble it is not noble that a preacher is crying courtesy you and you sleep sound and wake up that an individual is going down you close the business door because of mismanagement of this spirit this cancer and it's amazing how many people will go behind and stab you then call other people and say you are bleeding Say, this man is bleeding. I mean, who would be so wicked to cause this man to bleed? And then they see the evidence of the blood on your own hands. Walking in love. I've seen God do more in my life because of love than because of prayer. I know you will not believe this. I'm a man of prayer by the grace of God. I'm a man of the word by the grace of God. But there are realms that even prayer warriors cannot get there. The Bible says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things that God has in store for lovers. This one is a realm of love. You can pray from a corrupt heart. You can fast from a corrupt heart. Envy can be the sponsor of your fasting because you want it too. 
so that nobody disrespects you unfortunately God vets the heart of men before he extends his hands to them but when you have love that you wish everyone well when you hear that this person's company has a problem you wish them well even if they hate you you wish them well and leave them in peace you see you have secured yourself most people become vulnerable to demonic attacks because they do not know the power of walking in love I learned early that love never fails love never fails now you will look like a fool while you are practicing love many people will take you for granted like they've taken many of you for granted but can I tell you at the end love always wins you know what killed death defeated sin it was not power it was love even what power could not do love did there remained these three faith that moves mountains hope that maketh not ashamed and love the bible says the greatest is love when he was done talking about the gifts of the spirit reverend julian he mentioned all the gifts of the spirit in first corinthians chapter 12 he said even with this let me show you a more excellent way then he goes to chapter 13 a more excellent way of preaching is to preach in love a more excellent way of doing business is to do business in love a more excellent way of counseling is to counsel in love a more excellent way of rebuking is to rebuke in love once you take away the love factor even if what you are doing is right it becomes destroyed love every time i come into this nation i will celebrate every man of god that i have the opportunity to meet doesn't matter whether you are great doesn't matter whether you are small once you are called in the name of the lord and you are called to the service of the kingdom i honor you and even if you are not in ministry the bible says honor all men then it says honor the king honor all men if i find someone sweeping in front of me i will greet you with honor and respect i still remember where he took me from if i find you scrubbing the toilet for me to make the room conducive you are deserving of my honor you see that now men of god listen let me challenge us and i'll wrap up with this there are many things that make me love your pastor his passion for god his diligence that sense of innovation but in my opinion the greatest thing about reverend julian that has drawn me to him is the sincerity of his love and i'm saying this sincerely hallelujah i'll be saying this for the first time his mom is here i love the family you would think i've i've, I've told myself i'm one of the sons too mama did something the last time i came that touched me mama brought a pen last year i still remember it's a golden pen and this pen belonged to reverend julian's father and after mama hugged me and gave me a big kiss she brought that pen as a gift and gave it to me thank you i will honor her in life and even the day she sees his face she still deserves my honor let me tell you this it is not always revelation and anointing that draws members your love life is a greater witness it brings beauty and authenticity to your person you can have all the revelation you have and people will hate you and if a generation hates you you will pay for it i tell you that in advance if a generation decides to hate you that you do not secure favor with them it's not always about manifestations and power and good preaching and business acumen sometimes it's about love the way you treat others the sincerity the authenticity of your person i spotted her while i was here and I, I, every time i come i receive my dose of the hug for the year so mama is going to give me my own hug for the year 
now I'm a man of God when I'm done I receive the hug of a son hallelujah and in that hug you see are many things virtue pouring from her heart a mother who can raise a son like this should hug you I hope we are learning when I honor our fathers even the fathers in this land it is because they have given us the opportunity to learn from their scars without experiencing their pain they are deserving of our honor let me challenge you every young man in ministry here anytime you see any elderly person particularly in ministry swallow your pride and honor them I don't care what revelation you have I don't care how many churches and parishes honor them let's restore honor this is where both culture and spirituality meet that honor even to elders is noble my final words envy is a killer envy is a cancer envy is a destroyer but like I've taught you use these keys fight it do not allow this conference finish that unity in the spirit can never be attained with envy i celebrate my friend and brother he celebrates me genuinely you see that now sincerely so sometimes he would just send me a lovely text and i say oh dear look at look at this man he should be busy doing something else and now he's sending me a wonderful text can you be like that can people be comfortable when they see you can they share the good news of God's workings in their lives and not say they made a mistake telling it to you because your heart is so pungent that every time people tell you anything good they regret it later on because there is a personality within you that fights everything God God placed it upon his servant and he sent me here alongside all the great vessels who have shared and will be sharing in the course of this conference to charge you you can pray you can fast you can study you can be diligent but if you do not deal with envy it becomes a cancer that will become a mountain and it will stop you from going forward whilst you're seated hold someone if you can as far as your hands can stretch your left and your right let the healing process begin Africa needs to be healed from envy we have killed ourselves by ourselves the businessmen in Africa did not die from others who came from other places we need to repent we have killed our prophets we have killed our apostles we have killed our missionaries we have killed the finest they didn't go to battle they died at home we kill them because of their dreams we kill them because of envy there are many pastors here who maybe are even discouraged where they thought they would get comfort they were stabbed there where they thought they would find love there are many homes today when you hear that your brother is crying you begin to rejoice i told him rather than feeling that pain someone pray lord we repent as a people we repent as a continent we repent as a nation kenya you pray pray it's time to deal with the spirit of envy please pray you are speaking to yourself you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore father i receive the grace to love to love my brother to love my sister to love my fellow man of god we may not agree in everything doctrinally but i still love our approach to ministry may be different but i still love there may be other character issues to correct in their lives but i still love i still love i still love you never win when you hate you never win when you envy you never win when you resent even if you are right you will not win take this moment I'm wrapping up let it be from the depth of your heart 
You gave the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.